Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another stationery haul. So I recently went to Mustard DIY which was opened nearby and I made a lot of purchases. Honestly, I didn't spend as much as I wanted to because I didn't find that good items. But yeah, maybe in the coming videos you will because I might go on a Amazon shopping spree. I haven't bought stationery in quite a while and now I'm getting that FOMO. So yeah, lucky for you. So let's start with the stationery items that I bought from Mr. DIY. So to start off with this mushroom book, this was so adorable. They had one in butterfly as well, but I found the mushroom one to be more cute. It is unruled and it's like this long notebook form. So really liked it and I thought I needed to have it. So yeah, sorry, it's a ruled book. I thought it was unruled, but yeah, it's a cute book and I'm not sure for what will I use it, but I've got it. This was a bit expensive, but I think there was some offer they were running. So yeah, I got this one. It's glittery, it's cute. So this is the first thing that I purchased. Next, I bought this envelope pocket sort of a thing. Again, you can see it's got that DIY logo on it. This one, okay, they had one open and I saw it and I liked it. So I got the packed one. And this is actually quite useful for like sorting your bills and other important things that you have. They've got like a lot of pockets. I feel like around 15 pockets and these labels as well. The labels are very low quality. So doesn't really matter but i love the overall wallet pouch whatever it's called and if you're able to find this in your mr diy do get it because it's worth the money wasn't that expensive as well so, yeah i got my hands on these um envelope sort of a thing so let's see how do i use it the next thing that i got is this super adorable notepad again it's unruled it was a beautiful lilac color they had a couple of more options so yeah um, also it's ruled i don't know why i'm just saying unruled unruled but i love the entire you know printed pages and all it's very beautiful something that i can keep on my desk and it's so adorable very good quality it's got the golden foil prints as well so that's there then i got a couple of writing supplies first we have is this dual head marker pen i need these marker pens a lot especially for my savings challenges and i ran out of all my previous ones so i wanted to get the ones that i had before but i couldn't find them and i then saw that mr diy came out with their own so i feel like it's the same thing they've just renamed and recolored it so yeah i'm happy again it was for like 60 70 rupees so yeah a set of four was great and it's dual side so i like it then i first got this then i realized it's ball pen so i kept it but then it was so adorable and cute i ended up buying it and i used the pen the pen is so smooth just like a gel pen so yeah these were like a set of um, five pastel shade gel pens but the ink is in blue so yeah, I really liked it. I feel like it was a good purchase. Although I want to buy now better gel pens because I don't have them now anymore. I've not purchased stationery in a long while. So then I got two of these very adorable ones. First, we have the Yuva Twistable Crayons. I am into coloring a lot lately. And when I saw them, I first bought them, then I kept them. Then I was like, no, you know what? I'm getting it because I don't like crayons that much. But when I saw this is like a twistable one, I was so attracted towards it. I ended up buying. And guys, these days stationery is not that cheap. Yeah, it's so expensive. But if you are a stationery lover like me, this is going to be your heaven. So yeah, I got this. Adorable. I haven't used it yet, but let's see how they turn out on you know coloring pages so this is the one that i got and the last one that i got is the cameline's brush pens this is a very unique design i've got all the brush pens almost i there are three four brands still i don't have like the ones available in india but yeah i was quite intrigued by them the design is quite different let's see how they work i use the tom's brush pens i use the faber castle ones let's see how they perform because they look pretty promising and quite premium and the price was also premium but yeah let's see i mean these are the ones that i use mostly so yeah whatever i can find online i'll leave the links below so you all can also check it out so this was the video guys i hope you all enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in my next one